Today we're going to discuss about second report type calculation for the admiralty type tables volume 2 and volume 3. Volume 1 we all, uh, already discussed and it was pretty complicated for because we need to calculate for the interpolate for the time difference as well as we need to go for the height difference. Volume 2 and 3 are pretty similar and uh, we'll be taking one of the example of volume 2 out here. It's a similar way how you need to be uh, you need to do with the problem. So let's go how to do it. We take an example of secondary port, port belt, and the number is 4670. The only thing that we have to remember is this 4670. That's what we're referring to at the penalty type table, and the date is 2nd Jan 1992. So let's see what is first thing what we need to do is we need to find what is the standard port. For that, let's go to admiralty type table, number is 4670. So you go to admiralty type table, you can see volume 1, 2 and 3. And the one thing is, you know that uh, you don't know which volume is coming from. So you need to check every volume. So if you go to the last pages of each volume, you will know, get the port tables. So if you have an index, you can check it there also or else you can go over here. We have these tables, it's 4670. See, these numbers are in a sending order, so you go down, go down, see 4670, whether it's here or not. It's not here, it's not in this volume. That's what we will get to know. So if you go down, see the last number was 1998. So it's not in volume 1. So let's go to volume 2. So volume 2 begins over here, begins over. Yeah, it's volume 2. So let's go to the type pages, uh, the tables of secondary ports. So the numbers are see 4670 was our number. Let's see where it's coming. <coughs> so down, go down. Yeah. So we get 4670. We got it's port weld and the standard port is Palabuhan clan. The number is 4686. Let's note it there. Standard port is Pila Buhan Clang and the number is 4686. Next thing what we need to know is what is what are the tides for Pila Buhan Clang for the date of 2nd Jan 1990 because that's the only thing that will be given in tide tables and the difference of the second report will be done. So we need to calculate that one. So let me get into that. If you get the standard for time, if you come to the first page of volume 2. You can see what all are the standard ports for that place. These are the standard ports. So our port was Kelang Pelahun, Pelahun Clan. If you go there, you can see it's Kelang Pelahun. So you get the page number so that you can go fastly. You're not wasting time for searching everything. So the page number 189. So let's see what is page number 189. It's page number 189. Yeah. Yeah. This is Peninsula Malaysia West Coast, Pelahun Clan. So the date was January 2nd. So you can see Jan, Feb, March, April, so Jan 1, 2, second. These are the tides 0, 3, 5, 7, 4, 1, 0, 3, 8, 1, 4, 1, 6, 3, 9, 3, 9, 2, 2, 5, 1, 1, 8. So let's note it down there. So the standard port tide times. Standard port tides. That was down. The timing was 0, 3, 5, 7. And the height of tide was. 4.2 similarly the next one was 1038 and the uh, height was 1.4 the next one was 1639 and the uh, tide was 3.9 the next one was 2251 and the uh, height of tide is 1.8 so looking at these we we will easily get to know that these two are high waters and these two are low waters. Let's mark it down there. So this is high water, and this is high water. So these two are low waters. This for your easy reference that you don't forget or to do these things. So first of all, we need to do the time difference. Here we don't have the interpolation. So the time calculation. So that is right. Time calculation. The second reason. You can just divide it into two sections. <coughs> One for the 
water, no water, no water. The only thing uh, easy one over here it is if you go to the type tables and the secondary port section four six seven zero. Six seven zero. You will get to know that. And last thing for this time difference, we had uh, four values. So here it is only two values. That means for the old high waters, we need to apply this correction. Old low waters, we need to apply this correction. So there is no confusion of interpolation. So only thing we need to know is this one minus zero three one nine for the high water and minus zero three two seven for the low water. Don't need to do this. Zones and all, it's already included in all the tables. So it's minus zero three one nine for the high water and minus zero three two seven for the low water. Let's write it there. So it was what for the high water? It was minus zero three one nine three one nine, and for the low water it was minus zero three two seven. So let's write what are the two high waters? High waters are zero three five seven and. The other one was one six three nine. The low orders were zero three five no one zero three eight, and the other one was two two five one. So the corrections for all are it's for the high orders minus zero three one nine, and here also minus zero three one nine. So it is minus zero three two seven. And this one also minus zero three two seven. So if we draw a line like this, what you get down by doing this will be the standard second report time for the types. So what will be this zero three five seven minus zero three one nine? You will get as zero three three eight. And this one will be zero seven. This one will be one three two zero. This one will be zero seven one one, and this one will be one nine two four. So this is our timing score. Timing score of the second reports. Timing score of the second reports are this one. So this is. Another thing what we need to remember is that if you when you are calculating and the last one this is if you suppose it's plus and it goes to the next day, so what we need to do we'll be having only three types. So what we need to do is we just go to first Jan and we will take the last tide of that day first Jan and we will apply the same correction. If it was high water or low water, we will apply the correction and we will see if it's coming. The answer is coming to the second Jan. If it's coming, we can take that tide as the first tide, and the rest three tide, and you can avoid this fourth tide. And if it's not coming, then you don't need to take this one because it's for the third jan. And if it's not the last tide of first jan is not coming on second jan, you need not to take that one. So we will be having only three tides. In this case, this is all okay. We have four tides for the day. So now let's go for the calculation of height. Height differences. So we gonna do the calculation for height differences. Those are height difference calculation. So let's go. So we know since so we have high water, we have low water, and for the high water we have mean high water spring. That's what we get from the ATT. I'll show you. We have mean high water meet. Similarly, we have mean low water spring and mean low water meet. Mean low water meet. So let's put a this thing so that you will not be getting confused. And we have the high water separately and low water separately. We have it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So let's go and see what are the timings for this high water and low water over there. So this is the table what we have. We'll go to the ATT. 
and for the Pelago and Clang you can see the top high differences in meters mean high water swing mean low high water need mean low water need mean low water swing it's high water two side and low water here is what we need to know so for the standard port we need to take these values these are the mean high water swing values and mean high water need values for the standard port we need to write that 4.8 3.6 2.3 and 0.7 let's copy there so the values go 4.8 3.6 this one is 2.3 and 0.7 so what are these these are the standard code values port tied values so next thing what we need to write is what are the corrections that we will get from ATT so the correction for port weld is minus 2.7, minus 2.1, minus 1.4, minus 0.4. Let's write it there. So the next one is correction that is minus 2.7 for this, minus 2.1 for this, minus 1.4 for this, and it's minus 0.4 for this. So these are the secondary code correction. So, correction. So let's write line over here. The next one what we have is the standard port heights for the particular day because for this value we need this correction. For what are the standard port value for the particular day we need to apply that one. Value for particular day. That's one jam. Let's write it one. Second jam, second jam. So the values go as we wrote it here. You know, this is 4.2, 1.4, 3.9, and 1.8. Let's copy it here. So there will be 4.2, this will be 3.9, this will be 1.4, and this will be 1.8. So these are the values. So now we need to, was as we did it earlier, we need to write. Invert of minus of minus means I told you before in volume one. Inverse of seasonal correction. We'll go to ATT and see what is the seasonal correction for the Jan month. If you go down, you will see the seasonal changes in mean level. For the number was 4670. So 4670 comes between this 4643 and 4688. So for the Jan it's zero. So there is no correction. So we can just write zero for all. Inverse of zero is also zero. It's zero, zero, zero out here and uh, zero out here. So it's done. So if we put a line over here and we do the correction, what we get is the same thing: 4.2, 3.9, 1.4, and 1.8. This is what is called as value for interpolation. This is the value for interpolation. Interpolation. So when we interpolate and for 4.8 the correction is minus 2.7 and for 3.6 the correction is minus 2.1. The 4.2 comes in between 4.8 and 3.6. So let's do the interpolation. You can take your calculator and type as 4.2 minus 3.6 divided by 4.8 minus 3.6. That is the ratio that's 0 0.5. 0 0.5 of what? The difference of these two, the corrections 2.7 and 2.1. The difference is 0 0.6. So 0 0.5 into 0 0.6 will be 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 means when we are taking from here, it's 2.1 and 42 will be coming ahead. So it will be 2.1 plus 0 0.3. So that will be coming as minus 2.4. That is the correction for us. And let's take the second one. Similarly, if you do the second one, you will be getting a value of minus 2.25 if you do the interpolation as I did the first one and for the low water I will do one more interpolation so the, for the 1.4 it's coming between these two so the value will be 1.4 minus 0 0.7 divided by 2.3 minus 0 0.7 so this is the ratio 0 0.4375 and the difference between one difference between 1.4 and 0 0.4 is 1 so that into 1 
so the value will be minus 0 0.0.4375 0 .4375. we need to subtract add it from here from 0.4 because the 1.4 will be coming close to this 0.4 plus the answer for you it is 0.837 that's 0.84 we can take it as 0.84 so that is minus 0.84 and the next one 1.8 will let you do what value we get is minus 1.09 1.09 so you go the correction for secondary port and next thing what we need to do is we need to add the seasonal correction the real way not the, inter not the inverse seasonal correction in this case the seasonal correction was 0 so it will be 0 out here 0 out here, 0 out here, and 0 out here. It's pretty easy in this case because the system correction is 0. If it was there, you need to apply the system correction. Next thing is what is the real height for the height of time at the secondary port. That value will be the addition of these three. These three numbers, that will be the value of your secondary port height so 4.2 minus 2.4 you will be getting a value of 1.8 and uh, some 3.9 minus minus 2.5 you will be getting 1.65 if you do 1.4 minus 0 0.84 you will be getting 0 0.56 if you do 1.8 minus minus 1.09 you will be getting 0 0.71 so these are the answers for you Seven one. So these are the answers for your height four. Write a second report. So let us write it somewhere else. So the height four second report. Four. Let's write it in red color. Timings we already have. Those are zero zero three eight zero seven one 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 three two zero one nine two four. So the values are. 0, 0, 3, 8. and the tide for that is we have it here the first tide is 1.8 we'll be writing a high water low water high water low water by the way so the value is 1.8 date similarly the next one is 0, 7, 1, 1. And the value is 0 0.56 because that is the first low water. The next one, the value is 1.65, and the time is 1320. So the time is 1320, and the value is 1.65 high water, and the next value is 1924. And the side is 0 0.71. So these are the tides for your secondary port. So this is your tide. So this is how you calculate the tides for the volume 2 and 3. It is pretty similar for this volume 2 and 3. And in this case it's volume 2. And you can do the similar way in volume 3. This is the calculation. I hope you guys understood and your doubts are clear. If you still have some doubts, you can write it on the comments, we will get to you. Hopefully, we will be doing more classes of uh, more topics and uh, if you want some topics, you can just write in the comments. So thank you for your time. If you like the class, you please subscribe and support the channel. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your day. Thank you guys.